What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, X-Man & Co. Today we're making a bright pie. Now if you don't know what a bright pie is, hang around, check this video out. It's a beautiful recipe and you're going to love it. Let me introduce you guys to all our ingredients here today. We've got some puff pastry, we also have a video out on that. If you want to go check it out and make your own. Otherwise do what we did, we just bought these. Baby spinach, red tomato, we've got some cheese over here, red onion, bacon, any bacon will work perfect for this dish, and we've got some sauces. As always, everything that we're using here today will be in the description below for you guys to go and check out later. For those of you that's not aware and would like to support us in a different way, our channel started a membership, and we'd love for you guys to go check it out, and if you feel so inclined, to help us out. Other than that, guys, just relax, sit back, enjoy the video. It's a great dish that we're sharing here with you guys. With that said, let's get straight on with this cook. Let's sort out the onion and our tomato. Let's slice them up. Now that our onion, our tomato is sliced up, it's time to go for our bacon. We're going to do the bacon on the open fire. You can do it in a skillet, but we're really after that crispiness of that bacon. Remember, we're making a bright pie. It's slightly different from a bride brekkie, and we want a crispy component to this dish. That's why we're not cooking our onion, and we're making sure the bacon is truly, properly crispy. So as we do the bacon, you are completely entitled to to crisp it more or less. You have to manage your fire, so please do so. As you can see, we've got the bacon in the flames initially, and we're just getting beautiful score marks, and then we're really managing it and moving it out the fire, and just trying to cook it and make sure there's beautiful crispiness to these bacon slices. By the way, guys, nothing beats bacon on the open fire. If you guys haven't tried it, you really should do. Now that all our ingredients are prepped, it's time to move on to a puff pastry. Now we're going to need puff pastry at the bottom and the top. So if your puff pastry is long enough, you could use it at the bottom and just flip it over and make sure all the ingredients inside stay intact because we're going to use a bright lamp. So it's going to be quite easy. I don't think there's another way of doing this, but if there is, leave a comment below. Tell us about that. That'll be quite interesting. So guys, if the puff pastry is not long enough, you want to cut it in half, make sure it's the same size, bottom and top, and that's just another way of doing that. Your puff pastry has to be cold. If it's room temperature and it's a hot day, it might be very difficult to work with it. Therefore, we make sure it stays in the fridge, not the freezer. It needs to be just cold, and once we need it, we take it out the fridge. I like to use a little bit of flour before I put my pastry on the board, just to make sure that it doesn't stick to the board. You could roll out your puff pastry, just remember, the flatter you roll it out, the less it's going to be puffy. So we want to stay in its original state much as we can. First of all, you need one bottom. Puff pastry for this bright pie. Just make sure it fits in your bright lamp. We like to add some mayonnaise. So the floor of this bright pie, if you want to call it that, liberally add mayonnaise to it. Guys, you can really spice it up. You can really add whatever you guys like. If you like some Hot sauce, that's definitely an option. Sriracha, tomato sauce, whatever you guys like. Next, we're going to add some chutney, Mrs. Ball chutney. If you guys don't have that, try anything else that you like. It's all about what works for you, your favorite sauce. This is really a brilliant combination. We love it. If you guys like bribery keys or bribe pies, hop over to our bribery keys as well. We've made a video of that. Go check it out. Definitely worth it. Guys, you can add any other ingredient here as well. You could play with gherkins. There's so many things you can do. Some onions. Be as liberal as you want to be. Add as much as you like or as little as you want. Then it's time for our tomatoes. We've got quite a big tomato here today, so it's quite cool. Nothing in this household goes without salt and pepper. So let's do that. Some bry spice, just a dash of that. Now it's time for some bacon bits. Like I said before, guys, be liberal. You don't have to smash them in small cubes. 
you can also put them whole. That's really getting along beautifully. This is going to be brilliant. I've got some baby spinach leaves over here. So I just like to take the end off the stalk. You guys don't have to do that. They say green's good for you. So that's what we're doing today. We're adding some of the green. Not too much though. Our favorite part is the cheese. Put some cheese in this bright pie. It's not a bright pie if it doesn't have cheese. Nobody said this is going to be healthy, guys. There's lots of cheese. I reckon about 300 grams. That's perfect for what we're doing here today. Next up, pastry for the top. There you go. Make sure it's the right size. Pull it slightly if you have to, guys. You can press it down so it's more or less flat. We're going to cut it slightly. It's a bright pie, so we don't want anything on the edges here. We want to make sure it's all the same size. I am closing it a little bit on the side, but guys, you don't have to. It's just we've got so much cheese in here. It's definitely going to give us a hard time, but hey, we don't mind that. We're here to cook. We're here to have fun. Now it's time to get this baby on the fire. So guys, at this stage, there's no right or wrong. We just want to make sure the fire is not too hot. It needs to be medium to low heat. It's going to be ready once the puff pastry is nice and brown and flaky. So until then, we just want to make sure we turn it regularly. Make sure that it doesn't burn. It burns very easy. Other than that, have fun. Guys, I apologize. We're doing a retake on the tasting. So obviously I know what it tastes like already. Maybe that's why I've got a smile on my face. Uh, we had a problem with our mic. So we do apologize for that. We're going to try to run you through everything quickly. So we had this bright pie on the fire for about 15 minutes, turning it around regularly, making sure it doesn't burn. And I'll show you some footage. As you can see now, we've put it on to the table. We cut it. It looks beautiful. So let's have another taste, boys and girls. Still nice and hot. Cheers. Mm. even better than the first taste wow this is brilliant that is nice mm. i'm glad we did the retake this is actually much nicer than the first taste it rested a little bit longer but guys it's still great i want you guys to go and try it out maybe you have leave a comment below if you have and tell us about your secrets share the recipe as we all do, guys, you know the story. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We cannot do it without you. We'll see you on the next one. Shh.